Water turbidity refers to the measure of the relative clarity or cloudiness of water due to suspended particles or solids present in the water. These particles can include silt, clay, algae, organic matter, and other fine particles that are not dissolved in water. Turbidity is typically measured using a turbidimeter or a nephilometer which quantifies the amount of light scattered by the suspended particles in the water. The measurement is usually expressed in nephilometric turbidity units NTU or for Mason turbidity. Units FTU, high turbidity levels in water can occur naturally or result from human activities. Natural sources include runoff from land erosion, algae blooms, and sediments stirred up by wind or waves. Human activities that contribute to turbidity include construction, mining, agriculture, wastewater discharge, and industrial processes. Turbidity can have several implications for water quality and the environment. 1. Aesthetics. High turbidity can make the water appear cloudy, murky, or discoloured, which may be visually unappealing to consumers. 2. Drinking water treatment. Turbidity can interfere with water treatment processes, especially those that rely on sedimentation, filtration, or disinfection. High turbidity levels may reduce the effectiveness of disinfection methods like chlorination and UV. Treatment 3. Ecological impact. Suspended particles can block sunlight penetration, affecting photosynthesis in aquatic plants and reducing the overall productivity of aquatic ecosystems. It can also impact fish and other organisms by clocking their gills, reducing oxygen levels and altering their habitats. For Sediment transport. Turbidity is often an indicator of sediment transport in rivers and streams. Excessive sedimentation can lead to the siltation of waterways, affecting aquatic habitats, navigation and flood control. Monitoring and controlling turbidity levels are crucial for maintaining water quality standards, protecting aquatic ecosystems and ensuring the efficiency of water treatment processes. Regulatory bodies often set turbidity limits for various water uses, such as drinking water, recreational waters, and environmental protection, to safeguard public health and the environment.